A weekend of shock for hundreds who work in the second largest school district in Oregon. Their teachers and other staff either let go or reassigned for next year at the Salem-Kaiser Public Schools. Finding out their fate yesterday. Welcome to Coin 6 News. I'm Lisa Balick. We are going to go to Joyce O'Geary to talk about how the district is facing a $71 million shortfall. Today, parents reacting. And the district says middle and high school class sizes could increase by three to five students. One parent tells me that she's already seeing overcrowding at her son's school, and she says this might make her move out the district. There's no way that one teacher can handle, you know, 35 to 40 kids, meet all of their academic needs, any social needs. I mean, they can't do it. It's, it's impossible. They're asking them to do an impossible job. Students at Salem-Kaiser Public School stayed home on Friday, while the district lets some teachers and administrators know they're losing their jobs. Nearly 400 layoffs were announced last month to fill a $71 million shortfall for next school year. The district says more than 100 people were terminated and the others affected were offered alternative employment with the school district. It's the biggest reduction Salem-Kaiser has seen in more than a decade. They're setting all of us up for failure because these kids are our future. You know, they're our future um, leaders and and we're really taking away from them. The superintendent says budget cuts were not made to programs like music, drama or sports. Well, we reduced our expense budgets by about 10 percent. We're going to be buying fewer things. Um, we reduced our plans to make investments in um, some of our buildings. So of the total 70 million, about 40% of it did not come from anyone's salary or cost anyone a job. We have not entirely been able to close the gap for next year, but we've brought it within reach. In a statement from the Salem-Kaiser Education Association says, the stress of this is overwhelming and the district could have made different past spending choices to reduce layoffs. Parents urging the district to prioritize students in their funding decisions. Superintendent and a lot of the admins got really large raises this year. We know that the superintendent is making, you know, upwards of close to $300,000 a year. And if they would take some pay cuts on their own and and put it more towards the teachers and the instructional assistants and all of the people that are tied directly in student contact. And the superintendent says she's working with teachers and administrators in a transition to finding new jobs and teachers who are laid off will work until the end of June. Reporting live, Joyce O'Geary, Coin 6 News.